Hey, what's up guys, it is Saintsman, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video. Today we're going to be talking about my 1.17 patch list, or witch list, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we do these every patch if you aren't familiar, and uh, it's just a fun way to talk about what we'd like to see in the next patch. And maybe Rockstar might come across this video and see some ideas and uh, implement them, whether it's in patch 1.17 or somewhere down the line so obviously if you guys want to leave your own thoughts in the comment section and your own little wish list and, and try to make it as reasonable as possible that's the one thing i try to do with these <laughs> obviously having like pegasus customization and big dlc stuff like heist casinos stuff like that that's probably not going to happen but some small reasonable things i think are definitely a possibility so getting right into my wish list and these are in no particular order but the first thing and this is kind of the thing that i am most hoping for in this patch is the ability to save outfits i don't know how many times i've gone into the store you know made my character look cool get this really awesome outfit and then you know a couple days later i found a new outfit and i'm like you know what let's go with this new outfit but then a week after that i want to go back to the old outfit and it's just a, a big process of going through everything and figuring out which clothes i gotta pick to match it up again and some of the outfits that are actually in this game right now the ones that rocks are made you know some of them are cool but most of them people don't use and if there was an ability to override maybe that or i mean even just making a, our own custom outfits even having the ability just to save like 10 uh would be helpful and i think that's definitely something that you know can happen especially we've seen in the past some leak coding and uh you know normally the stuff that we see does come eventually but um this is definitely my biggest thing that i would like to see in patch 1.17. Moving on into the second thing I would like to see is lockable Pegasus vehicles or the ability to lock them. I think I've said this in maybe a couple other videos in the past but this is kind of big because I don't know how many times I'll be playing and I'll get a tank or something and I'll get out of it to go into a store or just to go do something and you know like it'll only be like 20 seconds but then somebody's taking my tank and then they kill me and then they have a free tank and it's just annoying. Same way with planes and and other cars, you know, monster trucks, stuff like that. If I paid, especially the millions of dollars that some of the stuff costs for Pegasus vehicles, if I paid for that, I think that I should have the ability to allow people in it, similar to, you know, your personal vehicles. So that's definitely something I would hope to see coming. Rockstar does seem to be taking a good approach to this stuff, you know, they've had multiple patches that nerf tanks and and jets and stuff like that now they also have a icon on the map for tanks for griefing and if somebody wants to take one of my cars you know you can sort of consider that griefing as well so hopefully something like that gets implemented now this next one is something probably not a lot of people think about but i, I don't know why lately it's just been so annoying to me and i would like the ability to remove all the blue circles on the map like all the mission markers because who <laughs> actually uses those things to get into missions. I know there's a, a couple of you guys, but for the most part, everybody does the missions through the start menu. And it's just so annoying when there's just, you're trying to get somewhere, or you accidentally jump out your car, or you accidentally like land in one of them and it starts up the mission and you gotta hit B and it's just really annoying. I think actually there was a way, I don't know if it still works, but I know you could get into them or, or you know, walk into one, refill your ammo really quickly, and then you get back into the game. There's also a way to like fix your cars and jets and stuff. And that's why obviously I'd want the ability to toggle it on or off. For people who wanted to keep it there, that's fine. But they're just so annoying. <laughs> and uh, I, I would hope that, you know, I mean, I don't think it'd be that hard to do to have this ability. But like I said, man, it's, <laughs> it's just so annoying. <laughs> and it, I don't know why. It just happened to me like more recently that it's just gotten in my way. So... Yeah, that's definitely something I would like to see. And then another annoying thing is the double tap feature for the camera. I don't know how many times I've said this, but this is definitely something I do not like. Now, I get some of you guys who use Snap-O-Matic and everything a lot. You might like this feature, but if anything, I, I would want them to give us the ability to like custom map the double tap up feature. So like you can choose whether or not it's a camera or say it opens up to maybe a website or... I don't know, uh, maybe it opens up to, it, it automatically calls Lester, you know, or just have the ability to turn it off because I don't know how many times I've wanted to go call Lester or Moore's Mutual and I, because you got to hit up twice to go to the contacts, I wind up going to the camera instead. So definitely 
those two things are sort of the biggest annoyances in GTA I would like to see fixed. Uh, moving into, I think this is the fourth thing we're on, um, saving weapon defaults. Uh, I think I've said this before in the past, but this one, like, it's you would think this one's pretty easy, but uh, it hasn't been implemented yet, and I know so many people want this feature because, you know, the default weapons that are on there, they're the ones that you get at the very beginning. And nobody's gonna use the, you know, the shotgun, the assault rifle, all the stuff that you unlock at level, like, you know, 20. They're gonna want the, you know, the new stuff, the DLC stuff, you know, the shotguns you unlock at level 100, and the RPGs, and all this stuff. So, again, I definitely hope they implement something like that. And then, finally, the last sort of feature I would like to see implemented, and we always talk about having no cops, uh, or a no cops mode and everything. And recently, I put up a video about passive mode 2.0. If they could make this happen and this is probably the most far-fetched one for patch 1.17 but if they can make this happen uh, I think it would make a lot of people happy not every person all the time I should say wants to just go into a GTA lobby and then start killing people you know they want to enjoy the scenery but then there's always that one guy who's like hey man I'm in a jet and I'm a cup kill you and it's just it's really it's just really irritating to have that happen so if they can make a passive mode 2.0 or a, even a passive lobby, that would solve pretty much all people's issues with griefing. Because what they could do is one, the passive mode 2.0, if they didn't make a, a separate lobby for it, if they just made passive mode better, what they could do, some people have said the non-contact option, you know, having that for your cars, for your character, and okay, I can see that, but just to make everything better, what they can do is have it so where it was like in that glitch but you couldn't kill people you can still kill other things like people like uh, pedestrians cops um, but you can't kill people because then what you can do there is and people can't kill you as well uh, because what you can do there is you can still have the money stuff because obviously gas station stuff like that cops can still get on you but then you can retaliate back against them the only thing is you can't kill other players. It would be similar to, um, I don't know, like when you're in single player and you're trying to kill somebody, your gun just doesn't shoot them. That's what they could do when you, you know, uh, aim over a, another player. It just doesn't, it doesn't allow you to shoot. Now the one issue with that and, and not having the non-contact sort of thing is that obviously people could run you over um, and I, I'm not really sure of a way to sort of fix that besides a hologram type of thing but uh, I don't know how possible that is with coding and all that stuff so that's why I figured just not include that but obviously that'd be the best way only problem is if you're a hologram then the cops couldn't shoot you and it'd just be kind of complicated and then uh, when you're in your car maybe the only way to stop that is being a hologram uh, if you're just in a regular lobby but if they made a passive mode lobby maybe that would sort of help with the situation and because the one thing that I think passive mode in it, like is a good idea on paper but the one thing I think that kinda went wrong is, is that cops can still get on you and I think when people go into passive mode they still wanna play the game they just don't wanna get killed by other people and I think that's kinda the mindset of most people that go into passive mode like I still wanna kill pedestrians I still wanna kill cops I still wanna blow things up I just don't want to blow other people up and I don't want to kill other people and I don't want to be killed by them. So I think this is one of the biggest things. So I think that the addition to a, a newer passive mode, a passive mode 2.0 or something would definitely be beneficial for a lot of people who are in the same situation and have the same mindset as I do. Because, and I've said it before in the past, passive mode right now, it's a start, but it definitely needs to be improved upon. Just like some other things they have done in the past. Uh, so hopefully that happens, but that is it with my patch 1.17 wishlist. Obviously, I wanted to fix all the glitches, all the mods, all that stuff. You know, that's kind of understandable. But uh, as for some new sort of features to the game, and not really cars, not guns, not heists, nothing crazy. I think these are all reasonable, uh, apart from the passive mode stuff. Obviously, that probably wouldn't happen in 1.17, but maybe 1.18 or 1.19, something like that down the future. Uh, I would like to see it. Uh, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know your patch list in the comment section. Like the video if you did enjoy it. If we can get over 2,000 likes, maybe, that would be cool because uh, hopefully Rockstar would see this and then implement some of these things. Subscribe, obviously, so you don't miss out on any other awesome GTA content. Share this video with all your friends so they uh, can leave their opinions in the comment section as well. Anyway, again, hope you enjoyed, and as always, 
It's your boy Saints fan. I'm out. Peace.